Hey guys, Fran here, back with another video. So, let me tell you something. This retrograde is really something. I'm just gonna say it's something. Gotta watch what I say, watch what I speak and put out there because this retrograde, woo, woo, that's all I can say. All right guys, so I am back with another quick video. Let me spray some of my energy clearing spray real quick. Oh, it smells so good. Let me clear the energy and clear the vibration. As you guys know, I just got off my class call. So every time I get off my class call, I have all these little tidbits and stuff to share with you guys. So I want to talk to you guys about the call this week. So every week I have a mastermind call with about 50 ladies. You guys know the story. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So this week we were talking about balancing and having it all and calling it in as you desire it to be. So everybody knows about the law of attraction. Like we all know about the law of attraction. We've heard about the law of attraction. But what we don't know is that there are other laws of the universe that work along with the law of attraction. And a lot of times when, you know, new thought teachers or spiritual teachers such as myself, are talking about the law of attraction, we forget the law of circulation. We forget all the other laws that go along with the law of attraction. But a lot of times we talk about, and we give you guys the principles and the keys to call it in, but a lot of times when we're talking about the law of attraction, you get the visualizing, the believing, the receiving part. You get the, you know, you gotta see it, and all of that. But here's what a lot of times is not taught, and that is that your mindset has to be in alignment with the words that are coming out of your mouth. I get a lot of questions about, is it really true that you can have it all? Like, is it really true that you can have it all? And those questions always kind of stop me in my tracks because I, for one, know what it is like to be in that space where you need so much or you feel like you need so much and you want so much and you see other people living these lives that you desire and this is not always about this is not always about materialized it's, it could be spiritualized it could be you know marriage and relationships it could be love it could be having the perfect body the law of attraction does not just work on specific things such as money or material things it works on everything I have been in that place where I have been you know that single mother looking for a breakthrough praying and begging God to come see about me asking, begging, just feeling like I have to struggle and go from piddle to post and, you know, piddle to post, is, that's an old southern saying, but go from piddle to post and, you know, just feeling like no matter what I did, I did not have enough. Well, the first thing is that I was operating in the law of attraction because here's another thing that a lot of times people forget to tell you. You are always, always, you are always operating in the law of attraction. You are always creating, whether you are creating by design or you are creating by default, you are always, always creating. So you want to choose to create by design which means what is it that you desire in your life getting focused and becoming persistent in your pursuit of what you desire is so important but you have to have a balance there I got asked the question today on the call and you guys have emailed me this question too like how can I be always thinking about it or how can I you know uh, dec you know declare it every day affirm it every day think about it every day but then release it because it is a practice right you set aside time, just like you set aside time in the morning to get up, brush your teeth, do your hair, do your makeup, get dressed. 
You have a designated time every morning or every day that you do that. You need to have a designated time that you do your ritual. This needs to become habit. It needs to become routine. Because when you do it and you continuously do it, it becomes part of who you are. I myself can be sitting in traffic or I can be doing something and I'll get what I call stinky thinking happening. Like, I'll be like, well, gosh, I gotta be here, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, and then, oh, and then I need that, and, that. and I stop myself immediately. I clear, cancel, and delete those thoughts of chaos that are going through my mind, and I begin to speak affirmative words in the present tense. I am great, I am blessed, I am happy, I have all I need. I am a rich child of a loving God. Everything I need comes to me abundantly. It overflows into my life. I am healthy, happy, and whole. On and on and on. And as you begin to say those words out loud in your mind, your outer circumstance begins to reflect what's going on in here, in your mind. I have had clients lose hundreds of pounds, like literally I've had two clients lose 100 pounds a piece, husband and wife, using the law of attraction and the other laws of the universe and mantras, decrees, and setting aside a practice. The things that I am giving to you guys, I teach this every single day. Intentional living is like my purpose. Helping people move from one place to the other, what I was designed for. And I tell you why I'm so passionate about it, because I was that person. Raising a daughter, never feeling like I had enough. No matter how hard I worked, I was always struggling. But I was also always saying that I am always struggling. There is always something that comes up. There is always something I gotta do. There is always, so I was speaking it in, into my life, not understanding and realizing that I was speaking those things over my life and calling them into my life. So it doesn't matter if I'm speaking it like, I am always struggling and I am, if I'm happy speaking, bad things or if I'm sad speaking bad things. Your subconscious, which is connected to your Holy Spirit, which is connected to the universe, to God, to your higher power, begins to work for you the minute, the second you start speaking. You are planting seeds. Unless you catch yourself and you start clear canceling and deleting, it's going to show up. It is possible to have it all. When you look at people who you think have it all or who you may feel have it all, there's no favoritisms in the law of attraction. There's no favoritisms in the universe. God doesn't have any favorites. He will do for you just what he's done for them. The difference is, is that they've made up their mind and they have stuck through it. Let me tell you something. Sometimes that manifestation process happens like that. Like you look up and it's like that. As a matter of fact, this week I manifested, because you know I am the miracle manifester, first class tickets to a trip that I was taking. I am going on a trip and I have, I have decreed, declared, called in, First class travel wherever I go. Listen, I am 5'11". I am, you know, a curvy girl. I like to ride in comfort. I like to ride in comfort. That began to be my mantra when I decided that I would no longer ride in coach. I would no longer ride in comfort. I would ride in first class. It took a minute for those things to start materializing, but I didn't stop it. I put first class on my vision board. When I would get on the plane, I would see myself in first class. I would look up in first class. I would go to the bathroom in first class. Everything that had to do with first class, I did it. When they called people to board for first class, I got up closer to the stand. I was determined 
that I was going to eventually start flying first class. Now, to some of you, you may say, well, that's nothing. I mean, I fly first class all the time, or I really don't care about flying first class. That is okay. But what do you care about? And are you willing to do the work so that you can call that into your life? Think about this. This world is lavish and it is abundant. Life is very generous and it is very giving. But you have to vibrate on a higher plane, meaning you've got to think different. You've got to become different. You already got to become that person that you are trying to be. So if you want a better business, get up, get dressed every day, put on your dress clothes, act as if, go out to the places where you would like to do business at. Look, look at the people's websites that you would like to call into your business. If you are wanting a mate, what kind of mate do you want? What would they be doing? Where would they go? Go to those places, sit, think about what it would feel like if you and your man or you and your woman was there. You have got to help yourself. The law of attraction works, but things don't just magically appear. What happens is that you are declaring, decreeing, affirming these things in your life, and then this guidance comes in, right? Your angels come in, right? And they begin to say, Fran, you should go here. Or Fran, you should make this call. Or Fran, you should do this. When you are practicing and you are connecting and you are aligned with your vision, you receive instructions on how to help bring that vision to pass. Your heavenly staff is always, always working for you. Always working for you. You want them to work productively. So you've got to find the balance in how to make your practice a priority. Your practice needs to be a priority, just like you need to be a priority. Set aside that time to call in the things that you want, whether it's two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. I always say 10 minutes is the max for me because after 10 minutes, my mind starts wondering, okay, my to-do list, this, 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 this. Kids are up, I gotta move, I got stuff to do, whatever the case may be. I give myself that 10 minutes to an hour. So it can go anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. It depends on what I'm doing. I get up in the morning and I have a set routine of what I do. I intentionally create my days and they have been so amazing since I started doing that. I'll share that with you guys in the next video, but I just wanted to jump on. I know this video has gone a little long because you know your girl likes to talk. I like to talk about this. It makes me excited. I want this for you guys. I really do. When you guys email me and you tell me what you're trying to create, I get a lot of emails with Fran. I want it now. Like I'm ready, I'm ready. Help me hurry up the process. There is really no magic fix. When you start to do the work, you start to create a flow. When you start to create a flow, things start to show up in your life. You will hear people talk about the work. You've got to do the work. And once you start to do that and make your practice a priority and make the things that you desire a priority, like you will not fail, I've got to have this, Beyond the shadow of a doubt, it is coming to me. I am so thankful for this because I am so happy to have it. When you start to do those things, you will see that things, people, places will fall in line and you will have the life that you truly, truly desire. Don't get tired and settle. Don't get tired and settle. I did that for a lot of years. I just got tired and I was like, okay, so this is probably it. This is, this is all I'm gonna get. So let me, just, let me just take it because I'm done. Your girl don't settle no more. I know that it is possible because through God, with God, all things are possible. And God is the supply, period, point blank, the end. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a great and fabulous week. Bye for now.